Hey guys, Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today we game on the T Mobile Revel 5G. All right, welcome back to my channel, guys. So we're gonna check out a few games on the T-Mobile Revel 5G. Hopefully I didn't screw things up here. Uh, this is Sonic uh, the Hedgehog or whatever. So hold on, let's see how we can get this going. Or at least Sonic Part 2. Let me get the volume going really quick. There you go. Hold on, let's see. How can I... Uh... There you go. Woohoo! There we go. I used to love playing this game when I was a kid. Here we go. And for those of you guys who wanted to see uh, the T-Mobile Rebel 5G in action as far as like it's gaming, I'm gonna test out Sonic 2. And then... There we go. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I'm clearly not going for speed, guys. <laughs> It takes a while for me to get used to these on-screen controls. Oops, sorry, I, I'm seeing a glare there, finally. There we go. Ooh, what is going on? There we go. Oh no, I'm losing all my coins, guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Sonic, this old school 8-bit game, seems to be working just fine on the mobile Revel 5G. Again, this is uh, the first stage, obviously. The other stages are gonna get more competitive. Let's check out stage two, which is Chemical Plant Zone. Of course, this is the ad version of it. All right, let me try to get past this stage and then we'll, and then we'll continue on. There we go. You gotta get the star man. I remember back in the day we just literally tried to go as fast as we could on games like this. And see who can finish the stages faster. There we go. There we go. Ah oh, snap. No no, not Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> I already lost all my coins. I'm just so old school, guys, that like I really can't get used to the on on screen play buttons like this. You know what I mean? I'm just not a fan of uh, mobile gaming, to be honest. But you know, I know a lot of people are in this generation, so. The screen and the sound sound pretty crisp and it's it's amazing like I can't complain uh, The only thing I can complain about is the old that this is not an OLED panel So when you kind of lean it to the side a little bit like that you kind of get somewhat of a of a graininess there But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get a call of duty mobile started. There it is right there all right, so I'm finally logged in here so we can test out Call of Duty Mobile. And I played it on the Pixel 4a as you guys saw and really, um, should we do Battle Royale? now? let's just do multiplayer. I really kind of like to stick to multiplayer just to kind of show you guys like what it's like. Let's death team deathmatch. You know, we'll do team deathmatch instead. There we go. Five versus five team deathmatch on crash. The first team to reach the score limit wins. So we'll try that out. Hopefully everything's okay. Oh, the stage is a little better. Ooh, all right, my team blue or my team red? And if, if I knock the if I knock on the tripod, excuse me, guys. Like, I think I have this set to my different mode here. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna follow this guy over here. There we go. There's one dead guy. There we go. Another kill right there. So really not too hard. Again, I'm probably using the auto assist everything, guys. Uh, so definitely, this. I'm, I, again, I'm not even connected to Wi-Fi here. There we 
Okay. I'm losing, like, literally stab people. I see them, I'm gonna stab them. No. Ah, I got blown up into pieces. Oh, no. And again, guys, this is connected to the 5G network. I am not connected to any Wi-Fi at all, so uh, definitely just so that you guys can see here that this is not... And again, excuse any glare I'm getting on the screen. Okay, I don't know where I'm going now. There we go, there's one dead guy right there. And you know, I'm doing these tests, I guess, because like a lot of people are really interested to see how these uh, games can game. And personally, like again, I don't really game too often on, on, on mobile. On mobile phones, I think the Flappy Bird was really as far as I ever got as far as mobile <laughs> mobile gaming or whatever. But at the same time, like I know there's uh, games like this out there, so I really want to just kind of put it out there on how these mid-range devices can do. Because again, the T-Mobile Rebel 5G, it's only, what, $399 or whatever? Okay, can I not go this far? It's only $399 if you get it on special, I believe it's only... Come on, stab him. I'm like right behind him. There you go. Okay, so take, it's taking me a while to get used to these controls, right? It's really a lot different than holding a, an actual physical control in the hand. And I'm pretty sure I can get like a Bluetooth controller connected to this or something like that. I'm just, I'm just not uh, ready for any of that just yet. Uh, but until then, uh, you guys will just have to see my crappy playing. Sound sounds pretty good and crisp. I'm not complaining about the sound. I'm not really complaining about the screen either. Uh, the frame rate seems to be pretty okay. Like again, like I'm just moving around as I as I go here, and I'm really not like doing anything out of the ordinary in the game, as you can see here. I'm just waiting for my team to win. We're almost there, actually. Ooh, I'm surprised that guy didn't get killed. Alright, there's like a bunch of guys just standing right there. Oh my gosh, this is... This is kind of annoying for me some, sometimes again because I can't, I feel like I can't get it to do, do what I want to do. Alright, double kill right there, you guys saw that. And we won, it looks like I got the victory for again, I think that's two, two uh, games in a row, or two uh, videos in a row where I got that game winning victory. There's one, I don't know if that was me or if that was somebody else. Let's get that a little bit closer for you guys, boom. Final kill cam by me, guys. Okay, so super proud of myself. Call of Duty Mobile, and again, um, you know, this game's really not bad for what it is. I mean, I've played it a couple times already, and it's a little bit entertaining. Like, if you're really bored, like, <laughs> I got second place again as far as kills go right there. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, really not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just exit out there, guys. And again, that is the T-Mobile Rebel uh, 5G as far as the gaming goes. Again, sorry for the glare. Let me know what you guys think on the actual, uh, you know, the, the gameplay itself, Sonic 2 and Call of Duty Mobile. Let me know what you guys think on that. And let me know what you guys think of the uh, T-Mobile Rebel 5G. Again, I don't think this phone is getting uh, a lot of love as it should be. Again, this phone is made by TCL uh, uh, USA or T TCL uh, Global Corp, which again makes the TCL 10 Pro and the TCL 10L. And if I had to compare this phone to another phone, it would probably be the TCL 10L uh, as far as build-wise goes, because it's got that same uh, size and it's got the same, it's basically got almost the same footprint as it was uh, fingerprint sensor in the back uh, but at the same time it's got a better processor and it's got way better uh, cameras in my opinion so again guys uh, this is Mike from B Tech Review signing off on the T-Mobile Marvel 5G on the gaming let me know what you guys think in the towel section down below thank you all for watching please subscribe we'll see you guys next time